My name is Ian Hedge and I work for Jeep Design Interiors. I'm Jeremy Glover, exterior designer. I'm Shady Elias, I work for the Colors and Materials Department. Jeep is a very strong brand and I think a lot of people have a very strong connection with it. When you're sketching, you know the shapes you're going to be drawing because it kind of already tells the story. Ian and I both went to the College for Creative Studies here in Detroit and graduated in 2010. As a fresh designer, you get a lot of responsibility, a lot to work on. And the two of us, we were at Jeep for a few months before we started this project. You know, it could be the smallest little thing or a big, beautiful rendering that drives the direction, but if whatever the feeling of the car is, if you've got that flavor, and everyone's like, you know, that's what we should be doing. That was super intense, but at the same time, it really focuses you. The theme of this car is about personality. Playful, fun, exciting, energetic. It's a do everything, travel the world, explore, break boundaries, going where no one has gone. Kind of thing. If I had to think of one key piece of inspiration for the exterior of the design, I looked at the vintage gas can. It's really one of the elements that ties the interior and the exterior together. I took the same idea and wanted to get something on the top of the roof. This has this cool faceted stamp look. also adds strength and structure to the removable panels. When this was designed, nobody sketched it out and tried to make it look cool. It's based on function, not aesthetic, but still looks cool. You'll see bits and pieces of that all over the car. The tail lamp, for example, it'll have the X in it. We looked at the heritage of the military jeep, looking at this profile, this Willys with a short overhang and then the squarish profile. You're going to see that in relationship to the Renegades. Chapel's little wheel arches, the shield shape for the grill, the round headlights, all that stuff is kind of interjected into the new Renegade. We were also very much inspired by extreme sports equipment, ski boots and helmets. For the exterior of the design, we looked at these athletic equipment, understanding how structural these shapes look. I wanted to brow the headlights so it gives it a little bit of an aggressive feel from the front. On ski boots like these, you see a lot of very nice anodized finishes. The anodized finishes and the Renegade are on the air vents, the shifter, and speaker grill. So anywhere where it's sort of borders. So we try to accentuate anything that we want to highlight. A lot of the parts sort of seem to interlock and connect together and form a very strong connection. The inspiration definitely shows through in the color and trim. We have the unique colors, which is the orange from the analyzed orange, and we have the bark brown as well as the ski gray. Tying into the sports equipment, there's always perforated leather or technical mesh equipment. There's a subtle Jeep logo woven in in different sizes. It makes it unique because depending on how the fabric is cut, every seat interior will be different. So no two cars are the same. The Trailhawk is different in the fact that it has a different fascia with an aggressive approach angle, extra skid plates. The Trailhawk is our most capable Renegade in terms of mechanics. It's a go-anywhere vehicle and we celebrate that to have its own unique interior. It has a fabric that features the elevation lines true to the MOA woven into it, so it's a subtle cue, but it's all in the small details. It's something new, but at the same time, it references a lot of the heritage. It's just trying to get the simplest, most honest car you possibly can. It has a, a good mix of being playful, but with real, capable, serious bones underneath. It looks like you can just push it off a cliff, and it's still very rough and tumble. Over a few times, and, and then fine. just like a dog, just shake it <laughs> off, you know?